Um, and after that, that very year, I started to um, to paint, to draw, to paint again. Um, let's see the work. Uh, this series is an ongoing series. Um, I call it the King and Queen series. But uh, for several years, I was painting uh, images of people that reminded me of the folk back in Jamaica. Um, my childhood memories of, uh, of you know sharecroppers, hardworking people. Uh, and for a while, that was fine. But I felt like uh, I think people were overlooking uh, what I was trying to say through the work. So I decided that I wanted to heighten those same people. Uh, in my opinion, uh, we're judged often by what we wear and how we look, but people never get a chance to see our inner beauty. And so the work is sort of a representation of the, the beauty within. Uh, so when you look at these people, they appear to be very royal and, and uh, stoic and strong, uh, but it's about that internal beauty. Everything that you see is a representation of the internal beauty. Um, and the people that I paint obviously are African American, dark people. Uh, my work also is a reminder of who I was back in Jamaica. Uh, when I came here, I was the first time I was eight, um, and then I went back to Jamaica. And I was teased because of my complexion. Uh, it was a very different, difficult transition. Which I had to obviously my accent is gone. Uh, a lot of people teased me because I had an accent, and um, I felt like you know I wasn't loved for who I was. And so a lot of times, well, actually all of my paintings. Um, are people that kind of look like me uh, because sometimes I just feel like we're overlooked. I, don't, I feel like um, we don't get the shine, you know, and I just want, I just want them to be heightened. So um, this is sort of impromptu, so I'm a little nervous. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but if you ask the questions, it will be easier for me to answer. Um, the fabrics I use that's another way of, of, in my opinion, heightening. Uh, when we think of royalty, when we think of, of, um, of beauty, we, we think of you know amazing fabrics. Uh, the quilt, it's sort of like a nostalgia feeling for me. Um, it's the memory. Uh, it represents memory and you know my ideas of the past. Uh, so please ask the question. What about the gold <laughs> leaf? The gold leaf. Well, the gold leaf is is a. It, the, the gold represents this sort of uh, uh, crown on everybody's head. So either they have a head wrap or they have something floating above their heads. And so it's a representation of that crown, that beauty, uh, that says that they are kings and queens. That's what the, the gold leaf and the little things on their head represent, the whimsy. Wasn't the birds? Yeah. I don't even sell my art. People like to talk. 